hi guys welcome back to my channel for another pick a card so today's pick a card is going to be what your future self wants to tell you what your future self <laughs> really really want to get through to you today and i have four different choices for you today and i want you to go ahead and just tune into the, the pictures or the decks that i showed you in the video before and go ahead and choose either the decks by the charms or just by your intuition. Choose and you will definitely get an answer today from your future self. I hope this resonates with you guys. I'm really, really excited because I like these kind of videos for myself. I like to watch these for myself and they always resonate with me. So I hope this resonates with you guys and I hope you find your message today and um, I hope you guys are doing well welcome to my channel and let's jump right into deck number one and see what your future self has in store for you guys so until then you guys can follow me on Instagram I'll try to make sure and leave a link below but it's Georgia guidance Georgia Lee guidance and also you can also print email me or Email me um, anything if you want a personal reading. I'm jumbling my words right now. Or you can send a donation through my PayPal. I'll try and remember to put those links below because I do forget. But um, until then, let's get into the reading. Okay, pile one. So we have these cards right here. I'm going to leave until the end because they're like affirmation cards. And these are, and this is also a postcard. So I'm just going to leave a postcard and the affirmations for the end. And we're going to get into your oracle cards and angel cards, okay? So the message on your charm says, May you always have a shell in your pocket and stand between your toes. Oh, I like that. That's a nice little message for you guys. So I'll put that right there. And... Here are your messages from your, well, I was about to say your higher self. It could be your higher self or your future self, okay? Or, so you're going to be in awe, okay? I like that. We're not going to talk too much. We're just going to lay all the cards out first. But we got all genius. Ooh, genius. That's great. Champion. Oh, I like this already. Sympathy. This card says courage. Hope. The journey. Protection. Oh my gosh, we got Jamie again. Abundance. Tree wisdom. And lastly, protect your dreams. Protect your dreams. Okay. So let me just go over these cards and see. So we got the journey twice here. Let's talk about that. Okay. So with the fairy deck, it says it's time to prepare for a journey. It may be impromptu or planned. Either way, make sure you're ready. When the time comes, pack your passport now. Okay. So you are on a journey. You are on a journey. Um, and it could be a continuous journey, okay? You could be on a journey now, and then you're going to be on a new journey. Maybe, as you can see with the first card here, this person looks like they were fighting. They they look like somebody that's fighting for freedom, somebody that's got that passion, somebody that's ready to go on a journey, okay? Somebody that's ready for that change. See that fire, that passion? There's also a horse here. This person got their, their fist up, they're ready to fight with that sword. 
they're ready to go and this is telling you now it's time to go it may be impromptu maybe planned planned or not whatever way it is you have to get ready now it's time to step into that new journey because your future self knows what you're going to go through and what you're going what you are what you're destined to become so it's telling you you're on a journey and you need to be prepared for that okay also we see protect your dreams so i wanted to talk about that because it goes with journey as well because a lot of us have you know big dreams for ourselves a lot of us want things for our future and we worry about a future that we may not you know reach these dreams that we have for ourselves but spirit is telling you to spirit and your future self is telling you to protect your dreams because they're precious and it says here on the card you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they're safe in your care keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them so now it's time to keep believing in that dream that dream that you have for yourself for your future keep believing in that because you are going to be on that journey soon to that change that you want you know you are going to be look this person got the horse and this she's got a little a rabbit to spring into action that rabbit is ready to go and this horse is ready to jump into that journey they are ready to go okay protect your dreams every night you go to bed you're dreaming you're always daydreaming about something you're always wishing and wanting change for your future so now it's time to keep manifesting those dreams, protect those dreams and guard them safely to your heart. Okay, group number one. Um, tree wisdom talks about now it's time to navigate through your current situation. So you guys might be going through something right now that might be difficult or just a bit challenging for you. But the <laughs> tree wisdom, tree dream is telling you now it's time to you to navigate through these with you know by finding insights you know we also have the courage card here now it's time for you to have courage you know now it's time to be strong and step into this you have the answers you need and the answers is coming as well it says her fruit reveal insights and answers to the sound it makes so you guys have the courage and also I see here you guys are a genius you guys know what you're doing you guys know what you're doing and you're gonna be a genius in the future so now it's time for you to be courageous now it's time to navigate think about what you want right now it's time to navigate to the dreams that you really want and what you really want for your future now it's time to think about what you want have courage to take on these pursuits okay we have hope this person as you can see she's guarding this little box here she has something very close to her heart she has a lot of wishes and hopes that she wants and you can also see that with all the ladies in this card they are guarding something really close to their heart they're really really wanting something right so it's time for you to have hope and courage and navigate your dreams into reality you will definitely get what you want so keep having courage and keep having hope in yourself, okay? We also see sympathy here. Sympathy, protection. You'll be protected right now through this journey that you're going to be going on. You won't be alone. Keep wishing, keep having hope. Okay, as you can see, there's a swan here. And there's a little river or something like water. I, I'm not even sure what is that, but it looks like water. Could be a river. I don't think it's obviously it won't be a beach, but <laughs> this one is by itself, probably going somewhere on her own. And you know, the journey can be lonely sometimes, but you're going to be protected. You don't have to worry about anything that's coming. And also, you're going to have sympathy for yourself. People are going to have sympathy for you. There's going to be, you're not going to be alone, okay? People around you are going to have sympathy for you and protect you during this time of change. Whatever you're going to be going through, you're going to be protected and you're going to have sympathy. People are going to be around you, guiding you, protecting you, and just, you know, just showing you 
that you can reach your goals people will be there for you because you might be feeling alone right now you know you might be feeling lost and alone and not knowing what your future will be but there's all hair guys you're going to be in awe of the things that you're going to be accomplishing in the future so don't worry about feeling lost and alone or whatever journey that you're going to be facing it could be something that you might have to travel for you might feel that like you're going to be alone wherever you're going and you don't know if you should take that journey but right here is telling you in the future that you're going to be in awe you're going to be surrounded with really beautiful stars you're going to be so happy okay you're going to be so happy with everything that's in your life you're going to be a champion whatever that you want to be i'm telling you guys you're going to be very very victorious in that look at this man he's riding on his horse and he's ready you're going to be a champion in whatever path you're taking whatever journey you're going to be on you're going to be successful you're going to be a genius you, you have great plans you got great intuition whatever your mind and ideas you have right now that's going to lead you to success in the future it's going to lead you to become whatever genius you think you might not be a genius or you, you think that whatever thoughts you have right now might not be successful but your higher self or your future self is telling you that you will be victorious you will be a champion in the future you're going to be in awe of all your victories you're going to be so shocked of all the success that comes your way just because you was courageous okay just because you kept you kept hope close to your heart you had faith in yourself you know you kept your dreams you protect those dreams and you went on the journey you went on the journey even though you thought you wasn't able to do it but you did it anyways you know you didn't took the leap of faith and you went ahead and you did it okay and when you did that that brought in abundance okay you're going to be in awe of all the abundance that's coming towards you and it says on this card, it says, prepare yourself for the incoming abundance. Your future self is telling you, release your mental blocks that you may have. In fairy land and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. Wow. That is just beautiful. Okay, like, there's so much abundance for you, group one, that you don't even have to worry about anything. And your future self is telling you that it doesn't matter like it doesn't matter what you're going through right now just keep believing in your dreams you might feel alone like we all do sometimes you might feel confused but throughout all of this you're gonna have sympathy on you by on your side you will be protected you will have sympathy you will have people there helping you you will have your spirit guides helping you as well you know you won't be alone you're never alone but the journey is coming and you need to start getting prepared right now. So whatever ideas you have, whatever plans you have for your future, there's going to be abundance for you guys, okay? There's a lot of abundance coming in for you guys and I'm loving it because guess what? You guys are, <laughs> you guys, it just clearly says it here. You're a genius. You're going to be a genius and a champion. You're going to be victorious in everything that you do in the future and I'm so, so happy for you guys let me go ahead and read your postcard it says there is you you needed to know that you can change things miraculously wow do you see that for you and everyone and make things right it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own you don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were not that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others, and that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. So beautiful. You guys are onto great things. You just have to believe in yourself. Right? Just believe in yourself. 
forgive people, forgive anything that you've been through in your life and just move on. There's great things ahead of you for your future. Don't no, don't hold on to any bad feelings or situations that happened to you in the past or right now. Whatever you're going through that's making you feel like really upset and like you're stuck. Spirit is telling you, future self is telling you to forgive and forget and then just prepare yourself. Remove those blockages and burdens and just prepare for something new because there's a new beginning on the way for you, okay? So with your divine direction card, you see strength. Wow, now is the time to have strength. And it also goes with the courage card you have over here, isn't it? Let me just find that for you guys. Courage. Strength and courage is definitely needed right now for you. It says you have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Oh my God. Courage came up twice. I can't believe this. <laughs> wow, okay. So it says remain focused, stand tall and shine. Yeah. Shine like the stars. You're going to be in awe of yourself. Wow. So strength. Have strength. Deck number one. This is beautiful. I like using these little cards. Okay, so here we go. Family. So it could be family situations right now that's causing burdens or it could be the family that's going to be there to show you that sympathy. You know, the family that's going to be there to, to lift you up. It could be the family that's going to be showing you sympathy or it could be that situation that you're going to be moving away from into that new beginning. You know, it could be family members. But they, your, your future self wants you to know that forgive those people in your family. Forgive and forget. Have sympathy for them as well. For some of you, it might be family problems. But spirit is telling you, future self is telling you to forgive those people. Have sympathy for them. Love them. Or it could be for some of you, your family is going to be there to show you. And show you that sympathy, to show you that love and support while you're on this new journey for your future. They're going to be there to help you get out of any burdens and blockages that you have right now. So go to them and, you know, talk to your family. Who knows what they can do for you, okay? Next we have soulmate. Ooh, the soulmate card came up. Okay, so this new journey for some of you could be meaning that you're going to be meeting a soulmate. And that could also mean that some of you... Or moving away from a relationship and moving into something new the new beginnings card and the journey card a lot of you probably getting over something hurtful that's causing burden and stress in your life and you just want you know you want to take courage and strength to move on so your future self higher self is telling you you have the strength to move on you're, you're going to meet your soulmate you're going to have that family that you want in the future as well so you know like everything just works in like wow i'm just in awe right now oh all came up again i'm in awe uh, you're gonna be in awe of your future because there's so much for you guys and um, i think there's a few messages here for a few people so you're gonna be on a journey so a lot of you're gonna be finding a soulmate so keep having that hope and dream in your heart for that person you're gonna be abundant in a lot of stuff guys i can see abundance here for a lot of you so there's journeys for different things and different people in this pile and i hope it resonates with you guys you guys are onto something great step number one and i hope this resonates with you guys and as your charm says may you always have a shell in your <laughs> pocket and sand between your toes because guess what you guys are onto some great things and the fact that you're going to be meeting your soulmate as well, you are you're going to be having a great life. You have going to be having a happy life, full of abundance. And it also says here, soulmates are important people. You can teach your life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members. Look at this. Family. So it doesn't always have to be somebody you're going to be meeting that's your soulmate. It could be just that like your family members or your soulmates and they're going to be there to help you throughout everything that you're going to be going through. Right? They're going to be there to give you the strength you need. Okay? Your family or like your soulmates, they're going to be there to help you along the way to this new journey for your future. Because your future, you're going to need a lot of strength to get through all the things you're going to get through to be that genius, that champion, that successful person that you are. You're going to be on some great things and so look forward to that. Stay positive and just protect your dreams and be mindful of your dreams that they are going to come true. Okay? 
They said family is everything. Reconnect with them and tell them that you love them. So that also goes with the forgiveness as well in the in the postcard. Take this time to forgive some family members of whatever situation that's going you guys been going through. You know. They are gonna be there to give you the strength you need when you need that time in the future comes. Those family members are gonna be the ones that's probably gonna be the ones to help you, be there for you. So now it's time to have good sympathy, now it's to forgive and forget about certain things that they put you through and just love on them. Tell them that you love them, tell them that you miss them, reconnect with them. Because a lot of you might not be in contact with your family right now or have problems with them throughout this problem we are experiencing throughout the world. But um, your future self is telling some of us in deck number one that now it's time to reconnect with the family and have strength, you know, believe in your future, believe in your dreams and just have a great, great time, you know, basking in that, you know, the hope that you have for yourself, bask in that journey when it comes because you're going to be in awe of everything. Okay, deck number one. I am really, really happy with this and I hope it resonates with you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Please let me know if this resonates with you guys, okay? Bye guys. Hey, deck two. So we're going to jump right into your cards. We're going to put these Divine Directions cards to the side. And we're going to get into your Oracle cards and Angel cards. We also have a postcard we're going to be leaving until the end. But let's jump right into you and see what your future self wants to tell you. And your cards are quite big, actually. Let me see. I, I haven't checked how much cards you've got for you. A lot came out for you guys. But your charm says she believed she could and she did. Or she believed she could, so she did. <laughs> All right. So we got some cards here. It says boldness. So... You're going to have to be bold in the future, guys. Some of you guys have to be bold or be bold right now. Reconciliation. So there's reconciliation on the way for some of you guys or in the future. Wonder. Some of you guys are wondering about your future. Wonder what it holds. Wondering where you're going. Wonder what, wondering, wondering, wondering a lot of stuff right now. Okay. As we all should. Embrace. So in the future, there's somebody you might, you might have to embrace something. You might be embracing a lot of change right now. Let's see the other card or what this whole message is about. Healing. And there's a number 33 as well. Healing. Some people or some of you guys in this group might need some healing right now for some reason. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if you guys, some of you guys are unwell. Maybe you got ill over the seasons of this epi, oh my God, this pandemic. I was about to say epidemic. <laughs> this pandemic situation. <clears throat> so for some of you guys, you might be going through healing and change right now. And yeah, this is why this is coming up. Or you might need healing in the future. Let's see what we will find out responsibility this person looks like they carried a lot of weight on their shoulders you can see all the clouds like he's carrying the world on his back but he's trying to ground himself at the same time then we have desire this is like the devil card <laughs> this person has a lot of desires a lot of hopes wishing to try a lot of new things wanting change Wanting to do a lot of things for the future, thinking about the future, probably. Some of you guys are on the world. All of you guys are have a lot of hidden problems and things you guys are going through right now that's causing a lot of burdens in your life and you're just looking for a change. Oh okay, so new beginnings come up, new beginnings are on the way. So we'll get into these cards right now. Go outside. <laughs> I like this. As you can see the other world and now they're saying go outside. So some of you guys have been hiding. Basically you've been in the dark, not wanting to show your true talents, not wanting to be as like can't be yourself. A lot of us have been in lockdown, you know, a lot of us have, have been inside. Um 
a lot of us are wanting to go back out there to you know showcase our talents to be ourselves again to, to just to live life a lot of us want that change and it's coming the future self is telling you that change is coming what was in the dark will be in the light you you won't be outside again okay you won't be inside forever you won't be stuck in your head forever you'll be out there new beginnings are on the way she's ready to take that leap she's ready to go new beginnings so that's very straightforward right there for some of you guys you know a lot of you guys have been going through a lot of stuff who knows you might have been sick as well and then you know you're getting that healing right now you're going to be going out there again don't worry you're not going to be stuck forever healing is coming new beginning is coming you're going to get to go outside again but it's, it's lifting for a lot of us where we can go outside again and you're going to be getting the healing from that beautiful sunshine outside the vitamin d is going to heal your body you know and for a few of you it's just telling you that whatever you're going through that's stressing you you know you need to be strong because healing is on the way you're going to be protected you know you're not going to be stuck in that situation forever you desire and change you have so much responsibility and weight on your shoulders but you design that change and you will get to go outside again okay you will get to go outside again and feel alive feel yourself it's also telling you remember about the embrace card it's telling you to embrace everything that's happening right now you get to be outside again as you can see this is another like embracing the tree but it could also mean you're going to be embracing just the change nature you're going to be embracing a lot of your things in your life okay with the wonder as i said you was wondering what's going to be happening what's what's going on you know and a few of you might have to embrace reconciliation there could be somebody that's coming back into your life that you haven't seen or spoken to in a while so a few of you are going to be reconciling with a few people could be a love or romantic situation um but look out for reconciliation somehow you need to embrace that when it comes your future self is telling you that there's you need to be bold when it comes to certain things in your life okay it's time to stop hiding away in the underworld it's time to stop it's time to stop hiding away from you know being happy and just go out there and live be bold and go outside and live your life because you are desiring so so much you are designed so so much and it's time for you to just take that responsibility off your shoulders for one right take that responsibility off your shoulders and embrace the healing embrace the change that's coming that new beginning is coming the magical gateway says take courage oh my gosh courage came up again so there's courage twice for you guys here so definitely your future self is telling you be courageous be courageous guys it says it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown yet this is where the greatest rewards are it's time to step boldly in the future boldness <laughs> wow guys this is no joke right now okay this is no joke let me find my card wow 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 <laughs> where is it going boldness there it is boldness boldness it's time for you to be bold and step into the unknown step into the future okay embrace the future embrace the new beginnings that's coming for you guys some of you guys are scared scared to face the unknown because you you're you don't know what it may hold for you scared to face the future you just want to hide away you don't want to see you but now it's time for you to go out there there's a new beginning on the way. Embrace the change. Be bold. Stop hiding away, guys. You need to be bold. Sometimes you might need to ask for help. Right? In the future, you might need to ask for help from a few people. And look at this. New beginnings came up again. New beginnings twice. Alright? As we talk about, when you get double confirmation, that means it's definitely happening for you guys. So embrace it. You might need to ask for help when it comes to this new beginning that's happening. It says... Angels are, ex ex angels are celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now it's time for you to ask for angelic assistance so 
ask for assistance from the angels, okay? They're there to help you. They're there to guide you with all your desires, all your dreams, all your wandering. They're there to help you with this new beginning that's coming for you guys. Two new beginning card. There's change, there's new beginnings coming. Ask for help from your angels, ask from God. Keep praying, but be bold. Be bold. Healing is coming for you. Doesn't matter what you've been through, you're gonna have healing. Stop worrying about all the responsibility you have right now and just be courageous. New beginnings. You could be a mom in the future, you could be wondering if you could be a mom right now, or you could be wondering if you have a family of your own. You could be wondering about a few things, but they say that joyous news of a new baby or birth of a new idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby because there are new beginnings on the way for you. Okay, guys. I really love these. I really, really love these cards. Okay. So that is it for those cards. And for some of you, as I said, there's reconciliation on the way. It could be this person you're thinking about that's going to be bringing or you're going to be starting a new beginning with. You know? But it's time for healing and it's time to take off all these responsibilities you have on your shoulders right now. It's time to have courage and be bold and know that the change is coming. Be bold, okay? Ask for help. Okay, because your charm says she believes she could, so she did. And you definitely sound like you guys are. So what message from the postcard for you guys, from your future self? It says, do you ever wonder your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you. We are always whispering in your ear. That's just, that's still asking for help card as well. Your spirit is talking through you. And it says, they whisper in your ear about your eyes, good. We are a conduit of spirit or for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration means your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be, be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on earth. Your purpose is to discover your spiritual nature and to bring forth true efforts without whatever it meant to be. Wondrous miracles. Wonder came up again. Wonder is in the deck as well. Wondrous miracles are the way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so loved. So a lot of you guys are wondering about your future, wondering if your ideas or anything that you have planned is going to be any inspiration. You want to be wondering if all the stuff you have in your head are inspiring you to take a step forward. And the Spirit is telling you, yes, yes, all those things you've been thinking about, all the things you want to create, they are also helping you by giving you little ideas in your ears, they're whispering thoughts, they're whispering inspiration through you, they want to work with you, they're working through you, they're working with you because you're here to do something great, guys, okay? All these wondrous things you are wondering about, all these things you're wondering about, wanting to do, want to change, the new beginning that's coming are going to create miracles in your life. There's new experiences coming for you guys as well, right? New beginnings and new experiences for deck number two. That's so great. Okay, guides, look at this. Ask for help is here and guides. Your guides want to work with you. You guys are here helping you, assisting you right now. So some of you guys might be going through an awakening. And that's why you probably were going through all those different emotions. One minute you're feeling good. One minute you, you don't want to go outside. One minute you want to be inside. One minute you don't want to be around nobody. Next, you want to be around people. You're just going through a lot of emotions. But your guides are here helping you. And just your future self will need you to know that they are what you need to listen to. Your intuition is quite strong, okay? So you say your guides are here to help you communicate with your spirit guides today. Next wait okay time to think take time to think on the matter at hand don't be tempted to rush and with the devil card in there a lot of us want to rush into a few things 
They want to join if we should rush into a relationship with a reconciliation card. But some of you want to know if you should rush into something. But it's telling you to wait. Wait, your future self is telling you to wait. Don't rush into anything. Think about what you want. Think about your ideas. What you Plan your stuff first before rushing into anything. Because you're still going to have abundance and everything like that. But you want to need to, you know, be cautious and don't be tempted. And friends, some of us might need to ask our friends as well for help when it comes to some of this decisions and beginnings and ideas and stuff we have planned for the future. So it says friends, it says spend more time with your friends. <laughs> oh my gosh, this also going co coincides with being inside for so long. Now it's time to go back outside. We've been in lockdown for so long. Okay, some of you have been outside, I mean been inside for so long. Now it's time to go outside and see your friends again. Okay, spend some time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Because you're feeling so, so burdened right now with so much responsibility. You feel like lost and alone. You feel like no one's there to listen to you. You feel like they you carry the world on your shoulders. You have so much thoughts and ideas going through your, your head. But there's new beginnings and it's time for you to go outside and just experience change, guys, okay? Reconciliation is awaiting you. Healing is awaiting you. And, yeah, blessings is awaiting you, okay? New beginnings is awaiting you out there. So thank you guys so much for deck number two for listening to your future self's message and what they had to tell you i hope it resonates with you and i'll see you guys in the next video and please let me know if you like more of these videos and what else you like to see me do on my channel until next time guys bye peace <laughs> okay deck three your charm says aim high i like that you have high hopes for yourself and your future self wants you to know you should keep aiming high okay Aim I. So we got these affirmation cards we're going to be showing you guys at the end. We like these like, directions. They're very straightforward, very accurate. I find them very accurate anyways. So we've got those. I've also got some postcards we're going to be talking about at the end as well from your future self. We're going to jump right into your cards and the first card that comes up is adventure. Future self wants you to know you're going to be on an adventure. Wow. I like that. Hmm. Ideal. So this, as you can see, there's a beach here. You see, you got an idea. You got an idea of what you want your future to be like. You're aiming quite high, isn't it? You got high hopes for your future, and I like that about it because it's coming up in the cards and the charms. Okay, you want the adventure, assurance. <laughs> All these cards. Look like you're ready for something big change. You can see the sun, the stars here again. You can see like you want to go somewhere, you want to travel somewhere. There's a definitely adventure for you guys with the assurance card and adventure card. So your future self wants you to know that that's what's gonna be happening for you, okay? And that's from you just aiming high right now and having high hopes for yourself. Prophecy. Prophecy is definitely something that's definitely going to be happening for you. This just means this is happening. This prophecy is destiny. You are going to be very, very happy in your future self. With your future self. Or your future self telling you, I mean, that you're going to be very, very happy. Because all these high dreams, high hopes and stuff you have for yourself. And wanting to go somewhere. Exaltation. So as you can see beautiful heart the world the world is coming up quite a lot here and also here you kind of see there's different maybe somebody wants to travel here because it's like Egypt who knows maybe some of you want to travel to Egypt Africa maybe some of you want to travel to a different country travel the world you know some of you have high hopes of being maybe you want to be like those bloggers that, that travel blogging or just want to be a person that's just seen the world and it's just telling you your future self is telling you you're going to be on an adventure okay that adventure is coming for you so that's just a great confirmation there strength it's time for you to have strength 
okay it's time to for you to be bold and take courage with those with those high hopes that you have for yourself that you to have strength and you know you've got to be going through different cycles in your life you're probably going through different things right now and that's also making you have strength so you're going to be going through some changes you're going to be going through different things and you know it's also like yin and yang good comes with the bad there's going to be different things you're going to be going through and it's just telling you to have strength right now have some strength and believe and courage in yourself you're going to be inspired or it's time for you to have some inspiration right your spirit wants you to know that inspiration is all around you and you might be feeling inspired but now it's time to take strength and have you know believe in yourself aim high because all those inspiration and ideas you have right now all those things that's inspiring right now i mean it's going to be what's going to create that abundance in your life so keep aiming high guys you are inspired right now and if you're not inspired right now you're going just going through the cycles but inspiration is coming inspiration is coming for you harmony harmony is on the way you see this person just feels balanced you know this person just feels look at her she just feels like she's in her element she's creating things she feels blissful happy she feels strong she's powerful she's very confident so you're going to be feeling all of that in the future you're going to be feeling harmony peace balance in your life inner child so it says here the fairies of playfulness reminds you to make time to embrace your inner child playing keeps you young at heart do something silly and fun but be safe <laughs> so it's also with that adventure card your inner child wants that adventure it's something that you've been wanting for a long time to go on this adventure okay it's something that you've always wanted you higher self your future self is telling you yes your inner child hopes and dreams is there inspiring you it's inspiring you daily to be that better person you want to be in the future and you will be that person you will be that person and it doesn't matter what cycles you go through just keep having strength and hope in your future nature signs is here it says be receptive to the messages that you get through nature day by day it says nature, nature talks through us con, um, continuously be open and listen to the messages that come to you and it says open your hearts and your minds stargazing a lot of you guys are hoping okay a lot of you guys are hoping and wishing for something and it is going to happen for you it says your main focus your intuition is flowing and freely flowing freely right now and it's going to be revealing a lot of things to you okay you were wishing for so much and now it's time for you to stay focused and be receptive to all the messages that's coming for you and it says friendship it says fairies and humans are like fairies and fairies and humans are like new friends and now it's time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So yes, a lot of us want support. And a lot of us will be getting that support because we just feel like sometimes we don't have enough strength to do this. We want so much for the future. We want that adventure. We have one inspiration. And a lot of us will get that inspiration from our friends. We will be getting inspiration from nature. You will also be getting inspiration from just being in, 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 in tune with your inner child. You know, just going back and just thinking of all the things you always wanted as a little child. You know, sometimes a lot of us need to do some shadow work, you know, just to remember all the things that we really want and just move certain blockages from our, from our mind and to know that we have harmony on the way and no matter what cycles we go through, you know, there's a lot of change coming for you guys. We keep aiming high for yourself. So, yeah, the prophecy is there. It's prophecy. It's time to exalt in your greatness. You're going to be assured 
everything's going to be fine for you. You're going to create that ideal world. You're going to create that ideal place you want. Just by thinking it, by a human eye, you're going to have that ideal thing that you always wanted in your life. And it's coming for you guys. Okay, let's see what message we have here. It says, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Wow, this definitely is a message for you guys. It says, be grateful. Praise things before they manifest. <laughs> Always ask for the highest good, and when you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg, okay? Instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts, as a testament to your fault in the higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you'll be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, which just goes with the harmony understanding and joy so a lot of you want peace harmony and understanding and joy in your life so it's time it's telling you to, to meditate okay it's time for you to ground yourselves again as i was saying a lot of you guys just need to you know get in tune with yourselves again and it says here it says in this moment your prayers are being answered for the highest good for both you and all of life and all life Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways, okay? Prophecy, okay? Assurance. Your prayers will be answered in ways you don't even know they'll be answered. It would be surprising for you. You wouldn't even know that it was coming. But keep praying and keep having dreams and hope for yourself, all right? And it says, at this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and we want you to know that your highest good is our our priority, okay? All is well. So don't worry, guys. All is well. You don't need to worry about anything. Your ideal life is coming. You are assured, as the card says, the prophecy. You're going to be exalted by all the adventure and stuff that's coming in your life. The harmony that you want. Oh my God! Everything just works and coincides with these postcards. And let's see what the affirmation card saying. Communicate, okay? Communicate again. So you're gonna be communicate with friends. So it says communicate with others more freely. Speak up. You have the right to be heard. So some of you guys maybe feel afraid right now to speak up your mind, speak your mind about certain things or what you want for your future, what plans you have. But you know, share them with your friends because you don't know who is gonna be out there helping you. So communicate, now it's time for you to communicate with people because there's going to be somebody out there that might be helping you to get to the, the helping you on this journey that you're going to be on towards your future, okay? Ask as well. See, I just said ask, guys. And holiday, okay, I just saw the holiday. I had to show you guys that, wow. So the adventure and the holiday and the ideal all works together because you're going to be on a holiday. Now, maybe it's time for you to take a holiday. Maybe you've been feeling like you need a holiday. And now the cards are telling you, aim high for a holiday, ask for help. Or you're going to be, your life, your future is going to be like a holiday. It says it's time to go on a holiday that you've been dreaming about. Live life. Live life and aim high. Keep aiming high. You'll be living your life. And it says, ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. <laughs> wow. This is definitely for you guys. So, yeah, I'm definitely feeling that you guys need a holiday. You guys need to maybe even ask for help so you can go on a holiday. Um, maybe you need to go on a holiday with your friends. It could mean many different messages for you guys in deck number three. Um, I hope this connects with you guys and resonates as usual. If not, you know, there's always another deck you can go to. But I really, really love this for you guys. I really, really hope that you stay focused and you know keep wishing for the best no matter what you're going through right now that change is coming for you the harmony that you want the adventure that you want the joy is coming so keep aiming high that number three and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching bye guys <laughs> Hey, deck number four, four, four. I love number four. And it says live, laugh, and love. So, so we're going to see what your message is for you, from your future self. It's been a lot of good readings. I'm not going to lie. All these cards and decks were good. Okay. We have some affirmation cards we're going to leave until the end. 
also with this postcard message from your future self. Ooh, okay. Well, this is like from your future self. It could be from your future self or spirit guides. You know, all of this is just for you. So we're going to see what your future self has to say. Adoration. Wow. Already you like this. Pleasure, okay, pleasure. Someone's looking for love or expecting love or wanting love, but it's coming. Pleasure and adoration is coming for you guys. And number four, cherish. Oh, I'm loving this. So you can see there's already a little baby there. So some of you might be wanting to be a parent in the future, or somebody's already a parent. But it could also mean that you want to cherish something in your life, you want to cherish or have that kind of love you would cherish, it's coming. Purity. Wow. I like this card. This is beautiful. Destiny. <laughs> See, they're intertwining a lot of things and cutting certain things out of your life and intertwining what's meant to happen for you, whatever's going to happen for you, whatever road you're on right now, whatever your future self is trying to tell you you're on the right path this is your destiny okay this is your destiny play play nice time to play play and purity seem like it goes kind of hand in hand for me for some reason maybe you're kind of young maybe you're young in age and maybe you're just thinking ahead right now for your future or you just maybe somebody that's meant to have some more fun right now maybe it's telling you to go out and play maybe you have that playful nature about you well, or maybe it could be into music, maybe it's something that you need to play. Yeah, I could see a harp here, maybe you're a musician, maybe you're into music or painting. But it's something for you to play, I guess she's playing with the little butterflies there. She maybe used to go out and play in nature, be like that child again. Crossroads. Some of us are going to be all at the crossroads right now in our lives and we're not sure what to do, where to go, we're not sure about our future and you know spirit is telling you already that your future looks like it's going to be great because everything that's going to happen for you is for your own good and it's destiny, okay, pleasure is already on the way so you don't need to worry about what the crossroads you're at right now and <laughs> with the charms, keep going back to your charm, it says Time for you to live, laugh, and love. And already the love is popping up. Laughing is popping up because now it's time for you to play. Okay? And now it's time for you to live. Because you've been living a certain life. You're at a crossroads and you want change. Live because destiny. You have a purpose. Okay? You have a purpose in this life. So your future self is telling you. You know, just stay focused right now and enjoy life a little bit more. Light is here. <laughs> it says the queen fairy of light comes to shed love again. Love again is popping up and light into your life. Into your current situation. To remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. The darkness could be the crossroad that you have right now in your life. Not sure if you ever have a child. Maybe you're not sure if you ever find love. Maybe you're not sure... About if you ever find anything that makes you happy, you know, I'm not sure if you could you be able to get to be to live the life that you truly want. But your future self is saying to be motivated or to stay motivated right now. Now it's time to spring into action. All these things that you want, you need to just, you know, just stay focused. You know, just stay focused and attack these plans. It says time to get busy. It's time to start doing those things you want to do and go ahead and do it. Whenever you feel the urge to do something, just go ahead and do it. Don't wait. Don't don't procrastinate anymore. Your future self is telling you to stop procrastinate, be motivated, and go ahead and fight for your dream. Take action towards your dreams. Wisdom is here. You're wise, and you're gonna keep getting more and more wise as you go along. Be motivated. The more you get onto this journey. The more light you have in this journey, you will get more wisdom. And he says, have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? <laughs> now it's time to call upon the inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. 
So a lot of us are at a crossroads right now because we're facing some sort of a challenge. It could be that you are challenged with, you know, the situation, as I said, maybe some of you want to have a child or in a love situation, you're at a crossroad. And now it's telling you to call upon that wisdom, that inner wisdom that you have, you know, you will be able to get through this. So stay motivated. Sometimes crossroad is there to help us do this thing. And, you know, just to shed, it's just there to help us on a journey. Sometimes it might seem like it's bad at the time, but it's there to help us. And you are there right now getting wisdom from this. And you're going to get stronger. Music. So a lot of us, as I said, music popped up. I thought play. When I saw play, I thought maybe some of you guys are musicians. Or maybe you need to, you know, just listen to some music and live life. And, and you know, just be happy again. Purity with the purity again. I thought when I saw that, I thought it was the music, um, a harp or something, or maybe you play some kind of instrument. But it says music. It says listen carefully for what may be a message in the music you hear. So a lot of you guys are getting motivated for your music through spirit or your higher self. You're getting motivation for your music. Okay, so it says listen to that message you hear. It says music can lift your soul, weaken the memories and charm fairies to your door. So this also go with this live, laugh and love. It's time for you to listen to some music, have some fun, you know, be that child again. Play. Now it's time to play again. Okay. Oh, that's so straightforward for you guys. I'm really loving that deck number four. Let's see what your postcard has to say. Whatever you're going through, all of that is going to be happening for you, okay? For the best, for the better good. It says, dare you. Now is one of those times you're being asked to add some distance. <laughs> okay, take a step back and do nothing but observe. Don't worry about how long it would take to regroup. Just know it's temporary and actually an opportunity to take a breath, slow down and look at how you far you've come. Decisions for your highest good are being made when you have clarity. That's why you're at a crossroad right now because you're trying to make some decisions or some decision needs to be made, but it will come. You will have that clarity. And it says which comes with being open to the information from both the intellect and the intuition. See? Wisdom. You're going to have that wisdom. You're going to be, you're going to get wiser, you're going to, intuition is going to get stronger, your intellect, you're going to be more intelligent, clarity is coming for you. Okay, whatever crossroads you're at right now, guys, is coming for you, future self is telling you that your intuition will get stronger. And it says when you step into the role of observer, it's as if you turn on, if you turn on the switch that allows your soul to be an essential part of the information gathering and decision making process. In this way, you can approach things from a, non, a more neutral and non judgmental place. We know you'll make the right choice. Trust when we say now is not the time to get too close to the fray. Step back now. You'll be glad you did. Love you. So let's see what you're cards are saying here. Step back. It's telling you to step back. Because in the future, step back and play. Step back and listen to some music. Don't worry about anything. Your intuition will get stronger whatever you're going through right now. You know, you'll be motivated when the time is right. You get information when the time is right. But spirit guides, your higher self, everybody's doing things behind the doors for you. This is destiny. They're, they're making magic for you. So step back, take a little breather. Okay, take a little break because pleasure is on the way. There's no need for you to worry about anything. So it says here to stay positive, enjoy the positive time, smile, know that everything is going well. See, it goes with this card as well. It's telling you to step back and you'll be glad you did because it's going to be all right. Everything will be all right. Take time to meditate. Meditation. Okay, reconnect with your inner spirit. Walk, practice yoga. Meditate, listen to music. Oh my god, I'm so finished. I'm finished, guys. Like, oh, this is just amazing. Music, where are you? 
music meditate listen to music play you need to just relax stop worrying about your future meditate listen to music go for a walk practice yoga you know a lot of us need to just relax and stop worrying about certain things be positive smile everything's going well for you let's see what the other got oh my gosh guys look at this music comes up again three times music is coming up <laughs> Maybe you guys are definitely a musician or you just need to just have some fun. Okay, just I think that maybe some of you people you're musicians, you just need to get back into your, your, your stuff, stay motivated. Maybe it's not no not, maybe it's not the time for you now to get into it, but your future self is telling you you will be a musician, you know, you will be motivated to be into music, maybe or just express yourself. Maybe you just need to take a step back and listen to some music. Love is here again. Just like live, laugh and love. All the love that popped up at the beginning. You know, cherishing love. Adoration came up as well. Right? We had all the love cards. Pleasure is here for you. All of that is here for you in the future. So music was telling you to express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. I'm like, play is here again play and the purity didn't i was saying that it looked like you're playing something so it's like you need to play an instrument which i said you're probably a musician you're probably into music or something or art it says to sing it says music will lift your spirits guys this is amazing i'm so i'm 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 so shocked and he says it's the right time for you to experience a loving committed friend a relationship enjoy the pleasure and adoration is coming for you guys something that you can cherish okay love and cherish <sighs> Date number four i'm so happy for you this all works together um i just want to hug these cards and just oh i want to send you guys a big hug this really, really makes me feel good at heart and i hope it resonated with you guys stick to it keep living laughing and loving keep just and step back and stop worrying as the card says because everything is going to happen for the great good for you okay guys don't forget to meditate okay thank you that number four for watching thank you guys so much for tuning in to my card readings and i hope it resonates with you guys and i hope that you stick around to see many more if you have any suggestions please let me know and i'll do them in future videos but until then thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys